The South African Nigeria Trade and Investment Roundtable is one of the events organized by the Consulate General of the Republic of South Africa in Lagos to commemorate the 29 years of democracy and bilateral relations with Nigeria. Papetra Fasami Peter was there and has more in this report. The roundtable addressed the bottlenecks around doing business in both countries and also highlighted areas where opportunities abound. Today we gather here as business communities from both South Africa and Nigeria to navigate challenges and prospects in the business landscape between the two countries. We are going to engage robustly, frankly and openly about some of the bottlenecks that we are facing in the process of doing business either in South Africa and Nigeria. We have to start to reflect very honestly about what we have done in order to ensure that we, go, we grow business portfolios both in South Africa and Nigeria. Small, medium and macro enterprises. But in the past few years, we have seen a slow withdrawal of South African companies, especially in the retail sector. Particularly for some of the South African companies, uh, these challenges they range from unfavorable market conditions in consistent regulatory environments or frameworks, inconsistent tax regimes, repatriation of funds, delays in loan repayments. These are, of course, major concerns. The panel session, which focused on opportunities for trade, industrial development and investments between South Africa and Nigeria, also had both sides considering de-dollarization of trade and investment between both countries. Brothers, and say to ourselves, what is the strategy for Nigeria? How can we trade in Naira and trade with rice? That opens all the gateway. In terms of the business opportunities, it is huge across both countries. Further deepening the digitalization conversation, Sony Iroche spoke on the impact it will have on both countries and Africa as a whole. It's important that Nigeria and South Africa collaborate and cooperate to move the continent forward. So we have about 36 bilateral agreements that have been signed. It is the implementation of those agreements that are key to the emancipation and the success of the African continent. Level of trade between the two countries is merely $3 billion. Whereas we are trading heavily with Britain, we are trading heavily with China, we are trading heavily with uh, other Western countries and not trading amongst ourselves as Africans. So that's my dream. That's the dream I have that one day, one fine day, Nigeria and South Africa would ease the, the, uh, the business environment, make sure that they are enabling environment on both sides. It's not a blame game. It's a time for us to sit down at the leadership. What started this dollarization of the world in the first place? It was started by Richard Nixon and his agreement with the uh, Saudi prince to price crude oil in dollars in 1973. What were we doing prior to 1973? We can go back and trade with some form of African currency. Europe did it. Africa can do it. They don't have two heads. This is the first ever South Africa Week celebration in Nigeria. Many of the participants believe this is a great step towards deepening conversations around improving bilateral trade and investment between both countries. Perpetua Fasami Peter reporting for News Central.